Today I'm going to help you get started on your forget-me-not headband. This first video will be demonstrating how to get started on rows 1 through 4. So I've already got our foundation row started here. That was chain 19 and then it had double crochets on top of that. And so we'll get right into row 1. First thing we'll do is chain 2. Turn that over. And that chain 2 counts as a double crochet. So we won't be working into that first stitch, but in that second stitch, we're going to want to put a back post double crochet. So to do that, we're going to yarn over and we're going to reach behind our stitch here. And we're going to go right around that second post there. And pull up a loop. Oops, let's try it again. So you'll see we go right between the first and second there and right around the post, yarn over, pull up that loop, and then finish your double crochet. So it looks like that. Now when you do the back post or the front post like this, you always get to have a, a stitch there on top that it's easy to work into. So you'll see that this post goes with that stitch right there on top. So you want to make sure you don't work into that. Our next two stitches are double crochets. So want to make sure we don't work into that double, that um, post stitch there. We'll work right into here. We'll do two double crochets here in our next two stitches. All right, so now we're ready to do four more back posts. Okay, there they are. So again, we want to make sure that we don't work in those four stitches. There's one, two, three, four. So the next thing we're going to do is our um, double crochet that's in the middle of our rows. So we'll yarn over and make sure we get that double crochet in the right stitch there. And the directions say that you may want to mark this until you get started, until you get going on this and understand where that is because you're going to need to know where that is for the cable crossover. I'm not going to mark it because it's just more of a pain for me, but, but it may really help you at first if you want to mark that stitch right there. Alright, so after that we'll do four more back posts. Alright, so again we'll make sure we don't work in those stitches. There's one, two, three, four. So our double crochet is going to go right there. And we will do two double crochets in the next two stitches there. And then we're going to work a back post in that next one. And then in the last chain space, we'll go ahead and put a double crochet. Alright, and that finishes up our, our row one. So now we'll row, move on to row two, which is the cable crossover. So we'll chain two. I'll turn that over. And the first thing we're going to do is work right into that post there and do a front post. And the front post, just like the back post, instead of grabbing the behind the back, you grab from the front. Then we'll work a DC into the next two there. Now we're going to want to skip the next five stitches. Now if you have a mark there, you'd have this stitch right here marked. Here's your four post stitches. There's that middle DC that you may have marked. So if you did mark it, it's really easy to know where to put your stitch because your next stitch will be after your marked double crochet in the middle. So you're on over twice, and you'll go ahead and find that that um, 
it would actually be the sixth stitch then. You find that sixth post, yarn over twice, go ahead and grab the front of that post, and we're going to do a treble on top of that. And we'll do that three more times in the next three. All right, there they are. Now, we're going to want to yarn over, and what we need to do next is reach behind here, and we're going to grab that, that marked stitch. If you'd mark that double crochet in the middle, it would be right back there. We'll grab it from behind. We'll work our double crochet. All right. And if you did mark that, you want to take the marker out and put the marker back on the top of the double crochet so you'll have it for the next row. And then we will yarn over twice, and we'll bring that back over the top. And what we want to do is go back to the four skip stitches and work those now, and they're going to be over the top of these stitches. So we yarn over twice, we're going to come back to this first stitch here. We're going to grab that up. We're going to work our treble. We're going to do that three more times. It was the next three stitches there. We'll wrap up our last stitch there. All right. And the very next thing you do after this is going to be your two double crochets. So when you come back over here to this side, look at the back here, and you'll be able to see the four stitches here. One, two, three, four. So your double crochet is going to go right in there. So we'll oops, pick up our double crochet right there. And there's going to be another one next to it. And at this point you can kind of stretch out your stitches there. Get those how they're supposed to be. There you go. So this right here would be that marked stitch right there. That, uh, maybe this is right here actually. That right here is that marked stitch, the double crochet in the middle. And there's your start of your cross over there. So over here we still need to do a front post. And we need to pick up our last double crochet here. Alright, and that finishes up our cable crossover for row two. So going on to row three, it says that we're going to be repeating row one. And that is our back post row. So we'll chain two, and I'll turn that over, and we're going to go ahead and grab that first post there in the back, do a back post there in that front post from last time. There's that, and we have our two double crochets. And now we're going to do our our four back posts, our double crochet, and then our four more back posts. So it's a little tricky, especially with this first crossover. It's a little tricky because, you know, there's not much here to work with. So you just want to make sure that you're catching them in the right order here. So there I caught the first one with a back post. And then I'll catch the second one with a back post. And the third one. And there's our fourth one. And then at this point, you would work your marked double crochet. So for me, I'll have to look for it a little bit, but here it is right here. So 
So there's that double crochet there in the middle. We'll go ahead and work that. And if you've marked it, go ahead and move your marker up to the top of that stitch. And then we're going to go ahead and go back here and find the other four. So you can kind of look back there. There we go. And see your four stitches back there. So you want to make sure that you stretch it out good and find that first one. And you're going to back post in it. And back post to the next three. All right. Next thing we'll do is our uh, two double crochets. So again, you want to make sure you know you're not working in these four posts here. One, two, three, four. Double crochets right there. We'll do two of those. And then we have one more back post. Oops. There we go. And one last double crochet there in the chain space. All right. And that finishes up our our row three. All right. We'll chain two and turn that around, see if it's looking any better. Yep, see it's starting to take shape there now. All right, so we'll do the row four here to finish this demonstration. Chain two, front post in that first post there, and our first back post from last row. And then we'll double crochet two. And we'll go ahead and front post the next four. So we'll grab it in those posts there for the in the front. All right, there's our four. Then we'll work in that marked stitch, if you have that marked. You wanna move that marker to the top now. And then we'll do the next four front posts. And two more double crochets. And one front post. And pick up a double crochet in the last chain space there. All right. So that finishes up to row four. And you've got a nice cable going on there. And so you'll go ahead and continue with rows 5 through 22 by, you're going to continue repeating rows 1, 4, and, and 2 there. So you'll, you'll use the rows you already learned there. And you'll work through row 22. And then stay tuned for part 3 there. Next, and we will go ahead and demonstrate rows 23 through 29.